Hello everybody, and welcome to a new episode of Dinosaur Island. Let's get into it. Here we see a Spinosaurus Maximus. This isn't, uh, this isn't, this, this isn't um, a Spinosaurus we know. This is a new one. A male, well, a young male, a young adult named Blizzard. He is on the prowl and he has found something. A large pterosaur, dead. For scale, if I stood next to this pterosaur, I would only look like a cat to it. No, not even a cat. I would look like a, um, I don't know, a, a tree to it. <laughs> No, not a tree. Sorry, wait. For scale, sorry about that. For scale, I would only be up to its hand. No, not its hand. About the middle of its wing, probably. It is pretty big. Blizzard approaches his meal. Oh, I'm stuttering a lot today, sorry. He begins to feast on the, on the top of his prey. Disclaimer, for the next scene I couldn't find anything that looks remotely close to flesh, so I'm using a strawberry. Anubis reaches over and rips out a chunk of flesh. Sorry that I called it Anubis. Um, uh, just pretend I said blizzard. It's just been a while since I've done one of these. Thank you. That chunk of flesh is all he needed. So he's just dragged it a long way away. He's torn up his little his little meal and begins to feast. He gets a bit dehydrated and decides to go to the pond. But as soon as he leaves, Mark, a struggling predator, begins to feast on the remains of the corpse or the chunk of flesh. He tries to, to pick one, like, pick one of the chunks up but he'll have to break it down into smaller pieces. He does that and wanders away. Meanwhile, in the in the in the shrublands, a huge Tyrannosaurus Rex, a very rare sight, has been spotted. Believe it or not, this is Rex. And he was driven out of his home by an invasive species. And he has evolved. He can smell water when he decides to head to it. Sorry, I do know that this is a short video, but it, it'll have to be that for... I, um, our base is currently being um, <laughs> rampaged by a bunch of cogs and nathuses, so bye.